Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Well, we've been talking about six questions that if you ask yourself could save your life. And we started out with the first one is, what does the Bible say about what we're doing? This is so important, but a lot of people really don't know what's in the scriptures. The second thing is, what will be the consequences for our behavior? We're living in a world where people don't want to be responsible for the decisions they make. And those are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. What are going to be the consequences of what's going to happen? What's our motivation is the third thing. What is motivating us to do some of the things that we do? We'll find that a lot of times it has nothing to do with God at all. Absolutely nothing. We're motivated by our own self-interest. The, the fourth thing is research. Have you researched it? Put it to the test. You know, John says, to test every spirit to see if it's so, see if it's from God. How much research have you done? And then the uh, fifth thing is the history. Uh, the Bible, Paul says, these things that were written in the past were written for our learning, things that we can understand. Can we take the things that have been, that has happened in the past, apply them to our lives so that we can be better people in the future? And most of the time, we don't. Well, the question on this lesson is, what uh, is my life, uh, what would my life be like if I never took the risk, if I never studied and meditated on God's word? What would my life be like? We need to ask ourselves, if I never take the risk to trust God, what would my life be like? You need to ask yourself that because we're going to answer that question. One, you won't grow spiritually. If you don't take the risk and trust God, you won't grow. Christians that don't grow will lack spiritual discernment. And when you lack spiritual discernment, you're going to have a hard time making uh, good decisions spiritually. You're going to make a lot of bad choices. And even though your poor choices may be unintentional, they will take you down a road of confusion and internally... Uh, confused internally when we don't um, when we uh, make poor choices so we want to be able to take the risk trust God and study meditate fellowship a lot of people will not take that risk that uh, off on their own and when you do that you will not grow you won't grow spiritually and what happens is Internally, there's confusion and insecurity. Uh, so many Christians don't know who they are in Christ. This is so important. Uh, so in order to grow, you must dive head first into the Word of God if you want to grow. It's important to have a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. There are three things, uh, when we don't grow, there are three things that really happens to us that uh, takes a toll on our life when we are not growing. And one is we're full of worry, worry, doubt, anxiety. All those things happen when we're not growing. Are you a person that worries all the time about everything? Then you're not growing. we got to trust God. Then we worry about uh, finances. So many people are so worried about uh, not having enough money, not having enough stuff. And those are things that happen when we're not growing. Because when we grow, we trust God. And then the third thing is when we're not growing, there's a lot of things that we wish for. Oh, I wish I was a millionaire. I wish I lived in a mansion. I wish I had a better this. I wish I had all these wishes. But as Christians, we're not living on wishes. We're living on the promises. And that's why it's so important to grow. If you never take the risk, that's the question you got to ask yourself. What's going to happen to my life if I never take the risk? You're going to be a person that won't grow spiritually. Uh, in Proverbs uh, chapter uh, 3 and verse 5, Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge Him. Trust Him. So we are living in a world today where we have a lot of phobias, right? <laughs> uh, and they are extreme. Many are irrational. 
yet they're real to us. These phobias are real. Uh, so what would life be like if a person uh, would just take the risk and trust God completely? It would be a life without fear. But what happens when we never take the risk? It's going to be a life of fear, worry, doubt, anxiety. Um, and uh, Paul writes uh, to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. He says, But God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And a sound mind comes when we completely trust God, when we rest on his promises. So won't you take that risk? Trust him completely? If you don't, your life will be filled with fear and anxiety, emotional uncertainty. And eventually, all of these things, this fear, anxiety, emotional uncertainty, you know what it leads? It leads to a lot of physical and mental issues. My friends, we want to ask ourselves, what would my life be like if I don't trust God? Well, it's going to be a life of fear. So you might ask yourself, are you really trusting God? Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about things from the scriptures.